hours every day, Texas has documented at least one traffic death on a state roadway. November 7th, a grim anniversary and one that continues to serve as an important message for drivers. Kim Molestina here to explain what TxDOT's In the Street campaign is all about. Yeah, Brooke, nearly 67,000 deaths have been logged since November 7th, 2000. That date is the last time that we had a deathless day on Texas roads, and TxDOT officials are sounding a strong alarm today. There's no denying how much driving we do across North Texas and the entire state, frankly. Unfortunately, all these motorists have created a deadly trend that TxDOT officials want to see end. Every day in Texas, an average of 10 people die on their roadways. What's tragic is they could prevent that most of the time. Val Lopez from TxDOT is emphasizing the grim reality. Their campaign, called End the Street Texas, aims at educating drivers on the preventable causes of traffic deaths. We see three factors that go into the majority of these deaths. It's people speeding, it's people who are distracted, and it's people who are driving while intoxicated. So we're basically asking motorists to do their part to end the streak. In Tarrant County alone, MedStar officials report 44 dead on scene cases in 2018. This year, with two months to go, the number is more than 30. We have a very high prevalence of rollover crashes in this area compared to other areas, and a lot of that is because people were overcorrecting when they realize that they're drifting or whatnot. The cause, MedStar's Matt Zavatsky says, is almost always distracted driving. He says simply being more focused on the road helps to lower the risk dramatically. If you're looking ahead, if you are doing things that you can prepare for the unexpected, that will be the best for you to avoid a, a catastrophe. And TxDOT officials say within the next two years, they'll be spending $600 million on things like widening roads, adding additional striping and lighting, and installing new technology across the state. Doug? Ken, thank you so much.